during that time. Uh, Buck earned his degree from UT in 2001 and lives and works in his hometown of Nashville. So we're happy to have Buck here with us from Nashville. And then uh, last but not least, Troy Fleming uh, played running back for the Vols from 1999 through 2003. He arrived at UT in 1999 as the nation's second leading rusher in the history of high school football. Um, Troy was a versatile member of the Vols backfield during his years here. Um, uh, was drafted by the Tennessee Titans in the sixth round of the 2004 draft and spent two seasons playing with the Titans. Um, so please join me in welcoming Drew, John, Buck, and Troy. And we'll turn it over to you. Especially having their support. It's almost like the last few years it's been like we're supporting Tennessee, but it's just amongst the former players. And if you have no connection with the former staff, um, and like I said, he's full of energy. I met him briefly. Uh, it, was moment, it was a quick moment. He was in the transition to a meeting, but he's very genuine. What you see is what you get. You can tell he, he wants to be here. And I think I always tell people he actually realized that it's more about the people in the band than about himself. I think the last coach, I had a hard time realizing that. I think he Right in. Soft and round one is about recruiting. And it's about getting your guys in your state to stay here. You know, because this year we actually had the crop of kids, so they got away. But it's about investing. I think that if you have a staff that's willing to invest their time because their career is on the line, their family career is with the provide for their families online. But more of it all, I think they want to be here and make the program great back to life. 
run this issue point, you talk about in-state guys, and obviously there are a lot of great in-state prospects this year, but both of you guys were in-state <coughs> prospects at one point in time. What, what does that mean? Uh, can you shed a little light on the, on the importance of that, what it means to be a high school kid in Tennessee to recruit by Tennessee? Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, touch on that. You know, to me it was very important just from the camaraderie of from you know, the in-state guys, the older guys recruited me, they did a good job taking care of me when, when I stepped on campus, I felt like I belonged, I felt like I already had a family. There was no awkward moments to grow up alone yet, do I, do I not because uh, guys like Mickey Allen, Derek Westmoreland were already here and they were here through the recruiting process and when I stepped on campus they, they made me feel welcome. And so we tried to pay it back by teaching guys like Troy. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I was driving up here and I was, I was thinking about one thing just about uh, you know, playing in state and I knew Detroit was going to, going to be here and, uh, and, and to bring it into perspective the 2001 uh, 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 Florida game at the end of the year for all the Marbles in the SEC East and uh, I remember Troy you know he was when you were first Detroit so See, he was a young guy, and I was seeing it. I was seeing it. So, uh, but I remember Troy scoring, uh, scoring a touchdown down on the goal line, and Florida was such an important rivalry, and that game was such an important game. And I just remember just, you know, just wanting to hug Troy like, man, that's, that's my guy, that's my in-state guy, and the touchdown was so important. And, and, and I think that's what, that's what you, you get when you get a lot of in-state recruits. Uh, guys feel like they're family. Guys feel proud for this guy. Guys are really uh, invested in the welfare of, of the younger guys, and guys pass that down. Yeah, for, for me, uh, being recruited by the state of Tennessee was uh, just a dream. I mean, I grew up majority of Tennessee fan in the early parts. You know, I also was an LSU fan, but you know, we don't talk about that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> as, as, uh, but but as, as my as my love grew for it and the success, I think when Coach Warner stepped in, um, you know, and, and just took it to another level. Uh, it was pretty much a no-brainer, and then they won a national championship in 98. You know, I was recruited by a lot of people, but I already knew from the get-go that I was going to go to Tennessee. Um, for me, coming here, um, it was different. For me, I went to private schools. So I really wasn't used to a lot of attention. You know, it's just go to school and do stuff, but you step onto a major program where a bunch of guys, there's the great guys at their school and in their state. Uh, it, it was wonderful, and I know it's a joke amongst the players. Is that, you know, they always talk about, oh, there's no talent in the state of Tennessee. There's no talent. But when you look on the starting roster, you know, out of your 11 guys, you got eight guys from the state of Tennessee starting. It says a lot about your state, regardless of if the guys are from California, Georgia, Florida, Texas. John, I mean, that's, that's always been the formula for Tennessee. When they've been successful, it's been a strong core of in-state guys, and you go kind of mix and match nationally. What, what have you seen from a recruiting perspective with this guy in particular? And also, it seems like they're, they're kind of getting back to that formula with this group. They are. What Bob left out is that he had the pass defense in that win against Florida late in the game, and then Travis Stevens was, just ran all over Florida that day. So that's three key guys from in the state of Tennessee. And the 2014 and 2015 recruiting classes in the state of Tennessee, and Buck and I have talked about this a lot because he's so heavily involved with the national youth sports scene. Uh, I think it's the best since those days that you were coming out and John Anderson, even Ron Slade played two different sports and was a nationally regarded prospect. But it's really, really good in the state of Tennessee for 2014 and 2015. And Tennessee, uh, under Butch Jones, has made that its number one priority. And for example, this week was the first week that coaches were allowed to go out on the road on the spring evaluation period. Tennessee never left the state. All of its coaches spent Monday and Tuesday traveling around the state of Tennessee, particularly in the mid-state and the Memphis area, visiting prospects, either current commitments or guys that they're trying to get committed. Uh, and I think that that sent a huge message. And Butch Jones deserves a lot of credit. He never knew that he was going to be Tennessee's head coach, but he had already fostered relationships in Memphis from when he was with Cincinnati and played in the Liberty Bowl there, and those are already yielding some dividends for him. So um, they've done a really masterful job of prioritizing the state of Tennessee. Buck's gotten to know Tommy Thigpen. That's the linebacker's coach. He's been assigned to recruiting territory of primarily all of Nashville, and Thigpen is a really good veteran recruiter who knows how to interact with coaches. And um, Buck's dad was a legendary coach at Pearl Mall High School for a really long time. Uh, he's still very connected with the staff there. And, uh, coach Thigpen was by Pearl Home earlier this year, and Tennessee doesn't have any immediate prospects on its roster there, uh, but it's still wanted to get Thigpen by there and start to foster some relationships. It's been really, really key. Yeah. That's that finished well. Uh, Troy, your, your 
coaching a little bit at Austin East High School. You've coached for a while around 